Hey everyone. Okay, so I know you all got you guys are looking at something like what am I looking at? Okay, you guys, as part of my 2018 expectations, I wanted to get some equipment to produce better videos. So I finally did it with the encouragement of my husband because you guys, I actually had some anxiety about it because I was like, okay, I'm going to get all this fancy equipment I have to do better videos <laughs> but I'm still just gonna be me with better equipment you guys so I got a tripod everything I got was from Amazon so this had really really good ratings on Amazon is is it's kind of got a little weight to it so um it got really good ratings so I went ahead and got this one this was $23 I believe um it has the mount I was really concerned about that. It had the mount and it has the thing to move the mount and tighten it up. And it does extend, I believe, 70 inches or so. So I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be trying to find the best place to stand it, the best angles, how to, you know, uh, fix my iPad and my iPod. Yeah. No, my iPad and my iPhone. It did come with a case. So that's really cool. I think I'm just going to end up putting it behind the door in my room. And I got a couple mounts. So this is the mount for my iPhone, for my iPad. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm, in, I'm anxious. <laughs> um, it does extend. There we go. I loosened it up. Did I loosen it? Did I tighten it? I need my tripod. To do this so I can have both my hands free. Okay, you guys. It extends. This. I'm tightening it up. Am I loosening it up? There it is. It's loose. It extends. I do have to take my iPad out of the case. And there's the bracket for it to go onto the tripod. I can only do it um, portrait. But I think that's okay because I only do videos with my iPad portrait. There are some... That allows you to do portrait and landscape. I'm saying it incorrectly. This only allows you to do landscape. So there are some that are tall enough where you can do it portrait, where you can do it portrait and landscape. This would actually turn. What else did I get? I got this one for my phone. And it's tightened as well. So let me loosen it up. If I sound kind of funny, you guys, my allergies been acting up again. So I just took some more, some more meds. My Claritin. I'm loosening it up, you guys. So this right here, you can loosen it or tighten it. And this one actually allows you to do it um, landscape or portrait. That's cool. And this was... $9.99 I think and it came with the remote for your camera um, and I did um, pair it with my camera and this one the big one is for iOS and this one is for Android so it's compatible with both types of phones oh mine's still on I meant to turn it off because it's battery powered it did pair with my phone but it is not pairing with my iPad, and I think that's because my iPad is so old, but I'm still trying to look to see if there's anything additional I can do to pair it with my iPad. So I just press the button and it'll take a picture, or if I press the button, it'll start the um, shutter for a camera. So I think that is really cool. If I have it on the tripod, I can just press this button and not have to go back and edit. I really like that. Now this one, I'm excited about it. It looks funny, I know. Um, I think I got a glimpse of something like this off of um, Herlanda Holbert's channel. And I was skeptical about this because of the way it adheres, the way it cinches to whatever you're trying to fix it to. I thought it was going to mess it up. But you actually, let me see if I can do this one-handed. You turn this part and it loosens. And you just move this to the width of what you need. So it's not this part. The turning part is not actually going into whatever you're trying to affix it to. 
and it has little grippies and it's not going to mess up anything and what i'm going to use this for is when i do changing videos in the nursery um because all my furniture is the same i have the dresser in the nursery so this actually has a little lip um let's see let's see it's about an inch and a half so i'm gonna affix this to this part in the nursery and do some changing videos so i'm excited about that and when i got all these things i was like wait i bought a camera and a and a, a recorder a video camera and so i went and got them out I found my charger for the battery for this, but I dropped it, and the lens doesn't work, so. Uh. And I bought this specifically for videos. I don't know where the cord is for the battery, and I think I used it once, but I don't like the little, the little surface. What is it, 2.3 inches or whatever, but it can turn both ways, and I did try to put it on the tripod so I may be using this too you guys so it's going to be a lot of different angles and views and things like this and I was so excited after I got the camera I found this bag at my thrift store for probably two dollars it's pretty on the inside I liked it because the one that came with the camera was ugly it was just black so those are some cords and some things like that there are a couple additional things I want to get like a selfie a selfie light I think that would be helpful in doing videos and everything like that we always do our videos but no one shows really behind the scenes of things that we use to make the videos happen and I am interested in things like this because I'm trying to purchase them and seeing what's good what other people use and things like that so I decided to go ahead and make a video and show you guys some things that I purchased so I said this one was 23 I think this one was 12 I think these two came together this was nine and I think this was 12 too all of it was $50 53 and some change so my husband encouraged me and bought all these things for me because he knows how important the channel is to me so you guys I'm hoping to do some great things with all this equipment <laughs> y'all be patient with me and hopefully i'll find a good angle and um, some good um areas to do videos so for anyone who was interested in video equipment this is the video for you guys have a great day